I didn't choose the bike for this video. Some of you did. Several weeks ago, I included a picture of this bike, in one of my videos. I was amazed, by the number of comments, asking about the bike in that picture. This was the moment, which I realized, that this machine is really special. But I found some difficulties, on making a video about it. The main problem, was the unknown identity, of its maker. But after a few weeks, I finally found it. Welcome. To Racer TV. Finding the author of this cafe racer project, was almost like finding a needle, in a straw barn. All I had, was one single image. And here it is the most wanted, behind this mask, Meitler, from Kinetic Motorcycles in Houston. This, was the 1971 Honda CB500, in the beginning of this project. Usually, I don't like cafe racers with this kind of suspension. I know that is very efficient. But most times, looks too much modern. But this bike is different. It's the perfect way, of achieving this clean look. As you see in the beginning of the project, Mike had tried something more conventional. It wasn't bad, but nothing special was going on. And this was when Mike realized, that less, is more. Just like in architecture, less lines in the project, the more interesting will become. This simple solution was so successful, that Mike is going to start selling a suspension conversion kit. You can check the link, on the video description. Mike, is a very busy man. Especially now, that he's going to college full time. And when he is not at school is trying to keep up with orders, for kinetic motorcycles. Most of these beautiful pictures, were taken by Mike itself. Photography, is one of his hobbies. After all, he wouldn't buy a nice camera just for motorcycles. This cafe racer project, demonstrates accurately what Paula Scher said once. Content, proceeds to sign. Design in the absence of content, is not design. It is decoration. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week. But until then, I wish you a Merry Christmas.